All right, well, it's time for Where to Eat in Oklahoma, sponsored by Cisco, where great restaurants shop. Cisco's chef Dale Tanner and Skip Hart here. from <laughs> Thanks for being here. Also here, Skip Hart from Traditions and Spirits with two tasty dishes. Yes. The first yes. one is Popeye from Chips and Ales. But before we dive into that, tell me a little bit about Tradition Spirits because you have various restaurants at Chickasaw Casinos. Yeah, we have Chickasaw Casinos at by 35 all the way down to Windstar, and then we also do Newcastle. Over there, and we have Riverwind. Uh, Riverwind wears chips and ales, and that's where we have our pot pie at, and you know, great draft beers and all kinds of great things there as well. We do live yeah. music on the weekend, so that's it's very, very exciting. Great. Oh, but this pot pie looks phenomenal. It Let's is. get great started. Too, yeah. We fired yep. one up earlier, and it's lit up the whole studio. It smells great. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we just start with our butter. Gotta have butter. That's key ingredient. Lots obviously. of butter. Yes, lots of butter. Lots always going important. On here. It's always important. We'll stick that down there. So the butter goes in. You get this nice and melted, and we'll get the heat going here better. Okay. All right. As soon as that goes in and gets melted down, then we'll go straight to our onions and our celery. A little nutritional value as well. <laughs> a little bit. A little I can't bit. even fool him into it's, believing it's healthy. It's, it's very rich. It's very rich and very good. If uh, if you get a chance to go to uh, Chips and Ales, they have some great food there. They do all the traditional English food. They do the bangers and mash, the yes. chips and ale. Yes. I just like to say bangers and mash. Yeah, that really is fun. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yay. We do a uh, steak and stout pie that's really good as well. And I mean that's uh, one of my buddies' very very favorite. Very, very favorite. Yeah, we had you guys on for St. Patty's. Lots of good Irish dishes as well. Yes, yes. We did the Scotch eggs on that one, didn't we? Oh, yeah, that was phenomenal. Scotch so basically, we'll just good. sweat these down. And what that we're looking for is just trying to get everything, get all the nice flavor out of our onions and our celery and get that butter combined in there. Now, should it change color a little bit? Yes, what we're we looking for is we're kind of looking for it to clear up a little bit. So you don't see the onions and you'll barely kind of see the celery. Um, we don't have enough time to make it, you know, go that far, but that's what you're looking for. Okay, sounds good. We're going to cheat just a little bit, right, Scott? Oh, we have to. We have to. We'll allow that on this show. Okay, so what are we? Else, are we going to be adding? So we'll get your flour in next. Okay. That's going to make our roux. So that's what kind of that's what's going to thicken everything up and nice make and make it a nice soup and and get our good texture going to it. Yeah. So we can make it in there. Beautiful. So far, this looks really easy. It That's is really very easy. easy. Very comfort food usually is easy. It's it's very basic ingredients. You pick great quality products, and then you get them into a pot, and and you have good food. I think sometimes food. though it can look intimidating because mm -hmm. when we see that finished product, you'll see it looks really pretty actually. Yes. So. Yes. So once you get the, you basically want to you want to cook your flour for a little while. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of get the flour cooked down nice and good, and your butter, your celery. And then from there, we're going to go with our chicken stock. Chicken flavor. Yeah. So now it's a little bit more soupy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and as soon as we start to get some more heat to it, then you'll see that it'll thicken right back up. Okay. And this, this I go for just and a Skip, here. I can't imagine that there's people that don't know where Riverwind Casino is, but no, Riverwind is it's right on the edge of uh, Norman, off of Highway Nine. It's right there. You go across the big bridge. It's always backed up. You want to yeah. go right down there, and uh, you'll see it to the right. They have the hotel as well attached. It's a great, great facility. But this is actually attached to the casino, so you can go gamble, get a bite to eat, go stay the night. Uh, you can watch concerts. They have a great big venue for concerts. It's really, really, really nice. That's really, really awesome. Nice. Really nice. Okay, so what's next? See okay. If you can, see if you can talk and cook, will you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll keep going. I'll keep Look going. at I Chef know. Tanner getting keep you a plate here. Keep, 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 see, I'm starting I'm to pick it up Come here. Come on, get it going. <laughs> we'll start adding our creams. We'll get our creams going in there. Okay. All right. Here's the meat and potatoes I'll keep talking coming and in a little bit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> here we go. Mm. Right. And uh, Chips and Ales also does a great job with social media. If you ever want to know what's going on out there, they've got their own Facebook page. Uh, all kinds of great information that talks about their food, has their menu, uh, events that are coming up. I know, Skip, you've got live bands out there on a regular basis as yeah, well. Yeah, we have live bands every oh, every weekend. Fun. We have them down there. We've got some great uh, traditional bands that play Irish Fair. We also have bands that play, you know, your uh, run-of-the-mill stuff from these days. Yeah, and you have daily specials as well. Can people check out your social media for that as well? They sure can. They sure can. We're linked to the Riverwind page, Dining. Um, and I think uh, you may have that for us, don't you? Yep. Mm -hmm. Look at that. There you go. Right. Well, so far this looks easy enough for me to do it. It's very easy. It's yeah. very easy. And, and we like to cook the chicken and the potatoes and all those things ahead of time, so that way you don't have to cook them in your pot and you don't have a chance of burning it. 
Yeah. And so do once we you add get the creams and all that stuff, that's what happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. do we, so we add the chicken right away. Okay. Yeah. But it's last. Yeah. Very last. It's already cooked. We're just looking to heat it all up and get it all back to right. And I like the comparison you made. This is just kind of like making a soup. But it is. It is. It's very, very simple. amazing pastry that goes over. Why don't, you, why don't you do this for us, Alex? Oh, well, I would love to. Skip's going to go ahead and scoop the uh, pot pie into the ramekin. And why don't you paste a little egg wash on there and okay. see how we finish this dish and up. egg wash? Is that exactly what it sounds like? Just it's exactly yep. what it is. Yeah. We egg. just take eggs and beat them up and uh, add a little bit of kosher salt to it. So that way it gets okay. a nice brown to the top of it. So this obviously was a pre-made pastry. And then are we just going to stick this on top? Here? Yep. Okay. So you get your mixture. And what's great, when you are putting that on top, finishing that up, we have another one to start after the break. Yes. What yes, are we, we going to be making after We're gonna the break? We're going to make here? a, just, just like this, a very you know, classic dish. We're going to make our pomodoro sauce from Capiche down at Windstar. It's a new restaurant we just opened up. It's a fine dine Italian. It's really, really amazing. And we're going to basically show you our secret. Oh, that's yeah, great. That's I love secrets. Make from, okay, so. we're going to throw Capiche. this in the oven and we'll be back with a secret sauce right after this break. Same thing.